Boom, motherfucker. It's morning one. We haven't done one in eight months. It's in the middle of winter now. No, it's just okay, a, Grandpa. Another. We'll take you downstairs <laughs> when we're done. Should another we put an elevator on our uh, spiral staircase? Huh? Should we put an elevator on our oh, spiral well, staircase? Well, you know, we do have to be ADA uh, compliant here. That's true for all of our unfortunate uh, disabled friends. No, disabled's not the word. Right? Yes, yeah. hopefully we're not them. Specially gifted now. Physically challenged. Physically. They want to go to our party and our deck to have access, free access to everybody. Someone was to figure out how to get them up here. Yeah, someone was mentioning we could get like a wench. Well, yeah. <laughs> Actually, a few wenches, and then maybe one Snap. of them could bring a winch with them. Or, what do you call those? You know, whatever. You know, and then you lower like a net. Well, no, I think you said it earlier that well, dumb waiters probably not. Uh, any better of a PC word now? <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Although it is dumb waiter and not dumb waitress, so you know they assigned ge gender specific to that. Isn't it server now? I am so your server. So it's a dumb server. I am neither male or female. I am your server. Nice. <laughs> so dumb server. You know, I saw something last night that finally I got it. I always thought that somebody was just hitting the wrong key on the keyboard, but Latin X. Have you ever seen that term? Latin X? Ooh, that sounds hot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is Latin, that a porn channel? Latin X, X, X. <laughs> it's a category on the Ooh. Pornhub. You know, I always say the Latina is the hottest of all of the ethnicities. Yeah. So, I mean, if you had to pick out countries, you know, I always, I give Eastern Europeans a lot a nod. Yeah, a wide berth. <laughs> well, hopefully, no, you actually like a, 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 a slim berth. Yeah. <laughs> a, a small berth. <laughs> No, Colombian, South American, Spain, Spanish. Brazil, Brazil. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, Brazilians, I'm in the middle. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I need you to convince. In the middle of two Brazilians? I need, <laughs> I need you to convince me. Please, Brazilian exes. No, but the Latin You know the address. Because there's Latina and there's Latino. And, the, and it's the A and the O decide the gender in the uh, Not the X Spanish. and the Y? The Spanish language. Wow, it's a totally different genetic profile? So that's Fuck. how they have, in order to not be gender specific, they put the X on the end that covers not just A's and O's, but every letter of the alphabet. Ah, except for X, I suppose. Like servers, as so opposed to waiters well, Instead of saying Latin LGBT uh, infinity, they just use X to cover everything. everything. Which I think is a great idea to just, you know, you could save so much on printing uh, the LGBTQ uh, See, it's organizations all, if you just had X. It's all about cost management. <laughs> exactly. Everything comes down to cost management. If it costs too much money, we're not going to do it. So I do need to uh, reveal something, which I'm, I'm not the reveal. We're all fucking breaking, robots. Breaking news. But I heard something this morning that, speaking of this kind of world where we led the morning wood this morning. Did we say morning wood yet? Yes. I did. Anyway, so Aunt Jemima. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, they're changing the name and the. Uh, name. But it didn't come out of what you might think. Like it wasn't uh, the Black Lives Movement that called for them to pull it on the shelves. They got a letter from not an old lady, but a slightly like a, a senior white lady from the Midwest. Yes. And it was that letter which tipped them over the scale. I can't wait to see the movie. Well, and, sounds and exciting. It was a very short letter. It just said, I'm very offended. I don't know if she had a... Well, give us a Midwestern female's accent. Because this is from Ellen. I always thought I had a Midwestern female's accent. So this is it. <laughs> oh, really? Right now, this is it, yeah. Anyway, the they, letter... I don't know why. They just... They sound kind of gruff. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, they do like kind of... Uh, 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 they flatten the... Uh, well, something. I don't think I have an accent. Everybody else does. Okay, well, it's that, all your issue, it's actually not very mine. True. That's true. You're the normal one. Yeah, anyway, this this lady just sent a very short. I'm very offended by uh, the bottle, and it's been going on way too long. I'd ask you to pull all of your product, not just the bottles, but all your product from the shelf. Signed, Mrs. Joy Butterworth. <laughs> Boom! <Boom-bass. laughs> Did I build oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> on that, I don't think we can top that. So to Mrs. Butterworth 
and uh, Aunt Jemima and all you um, sweet gals out there. Well, did you have a preference? I guess, where were you in Butterworth. Are we gonna Butterworth. Have? Well, she was number one for the longest time, and so she was like the Hertz of... Uh, yeah. Was she? Syrups. Yeah. I always thought Log Cabin was the number one of all time. Well, that, I think they... But, you know, back in the day, I don't even know what Log Cabin is. I think Log Cabin is younger than... Aunt Jemima has been around for 135 years. I grew up with Aunt Jemima. And Mrs. Butterworth kind of pushed her way in. But yeah, I, and I will say this: I, I, I it was thick, but, but Butterworth was thick. I like the thick that, syrup. That was their whole thing, was that, and they showed the two, two pouring each other. But I, I grew up. I oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I can, I, I can see that commercial. This is my great, said that. my great reveal. I grew up in a lie, a lot of white privileged enclaves, you know, where I think Aunt Jemima was probably the first and only black person I saw for the first 10 years of my life. You know, I will have, to, I mean, I would have to agree with you. Same? I mean, in my neighborhood, because we had this auto parts store in the city, I would see black people there. But yeah, I mean, high school, no. Three. I think we had... Three black students and 2,400 2, high school students. There were only three. I think I was friends with the only kid who was a child of divorce. Wow. It was so rare. What? The divorce too? To, yeah. Well, now let's not well, make this black. about divorce lives matter. Come on, let's keep it where it should be. Well, I got the title for this episode. Okay. Morning wood like sweet syrup. Ooh. Well, we gotta get. We should probably get Aunt Jemima and Mrs. Buttersworth in to get the tags and the hits and all that stuff. Oh yeah, you're right, Aunt Jemima. You're right. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's but a, I, you know, a marketing say, whiz. This man is. I mean, it, 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 granted, if it truly does, this is what I want to know. I really want to know if it truly offends uh, black people of color, whatever, then yeah, get it off the shelf. If it doesn't, if it's just a bunch of woke people thinking that it does. Woke. <laughs> but I, I really, I, I, I love the brand and I had a, re it was actually a very good feeling about about the When product. she held you next to her that huge very bosom. Ma ma <laughs> very major. You just felt, you could just sleep so soundly. Yeah, and then my first impression. Yeah. He needs another answer. Was a very Mima. warm uh, impression, and, and I, I didn't get. I was very, very homogenistically uh, sheltered, and, I, and I'm, I'm not happy about that. Not anymore. Booyah, baby. Oh yeah, uh, Huntington Beach is a real <laughs> melting pot. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. You're right. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't see a lot of blacks LA around here. For that very reason, L.A. I, I, I gotta say, I think it's it's an amazing uh, melting pot of people up there. Yeah. You know, net, that's our next adventure. We're going to move to the city after this place. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's no after this place. Well, well you know, two years is a not a long time. No after HB. No after HD. Anyway. Yeah. All right. We're, we're I think we're, we're good. Oh, it's not that bad. All right. <laughs> you, you, Mr. Timekeeper. Morning. What? I didn't say that it was eight, eight minutes. Mr. Right Brainer actually has a left brain aspect to him.